I mean, or is it just all a rap? And all the be all type shit. Tell me. Everything was falling apart. Damn. Everything was falling like stars. Damn. Everything was close from the start. Man. Royal Angel got in a arch. Man. And now I ain't no paper belt. Everybody lie as well. You lost all your pieces. That is why you need all kinds of help. Pieces to the puzzle. They got shuffled on the side of self. If you play your hand, check your plans on the time of self. The pieces that you leave in indicating. That you don't wanna be humiliated Day and night is never even to the patient No matter what the seasons keep on changing Most people do, you can't believe that they was hating Make you get handcuffs that don't even look like bracelets Moving too fast if you was being too impatient A couple questions got you leaving this one statement together it's up to us we can't do it can't be waiting on nothing you got to get them. ain't nobody gonna fill out that application for your flunked out no oh, say a pbs channel pbs channel I ain't... oh i'm sad i'm sure god looked at the scatter puzzle pieces like y'all stay scattered y'all said y'all mind stay you look your mind supposed to be like the little puzzle piece block that fits supposed to like fit perfectly in society I don't see none of that doubt. Yes, I see everybody in chaos, confusion, contradiction. Yes, I'm saying none of the puzzle pieces in the right spot. Stay in confusion. Stay in confusion. Oh, 
I'm sad because can God put me back together? Because you can't. Yeah, I'm gonna keep, keep, keep it 100. Uh, I'm saying you got this, this got to be the theme song when you start to see your pocketbook, your purse or your wallet money start to get flat going towards that psychologist and be like, wait a minute. God could put me back together. You can't. You know what I'm saying? Real, the, the, you know, you got the reprobate family members and stuff and stuff like that. Be like, wait a minute. God could be put me back together. You can't. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. You got that person in the next jail cell to you. Talk about oh, Yahweh, Yaka, Ashalaba, Abba. And somehow the jail bars don't move. You know what I'm saying? Somehow, like, you know what I'm saying? The COs don't change their mind and be like, hey, the judge said you could, like, leave today. Even though you had 10 years. Like, none of that happens and stuff. You got to tell him, like... I'm waiting on God to put me back together, not you. You know what I'm saying, Rose? your theme song. <laughs> uh, I'm sad to just let them hear that song. Then they, they keep their mouth shut. You know what I'm saying? How they going to help you there in the next jail cell next to you? Uh, I'm sad. How, you, how your homegirl going to help you? She's just as broke as you. Uh, I'm sad. You can't, how you can't even help yourself. She can't help you. Reprobates. Yeah, you know I'm saying so. Y'all gotta put yourself in a more healthier mind state, and and just ask God, can God put you back together? Don't wait for John, Donald Trump, Donald J. Trump. Y'all gonna be waiting for another eight years and think America gonna be great again? Yeah, you know I'm saying when was ever America great? Think about that for a second. You gotta think about that. Think, think, think about it. Okay, yes, yeah, my parents, my aunties, uncles used to say. I can't remember a time they said it was great. Okay, then you got to go, go a little further than that. Okay, with my grandmother. I remember my grandmother was here and stuff like that. Shit, she ain't seen no man walk on water or what she voted for. Okay, you got to go further than that. What was my generational curse coming out my grandmother's mouth and stuff like that? Shit, her mother might have been a prostitute. So you still got to start thinking like that. When was America great? When was it great? Or was it only great for who getting the bread loaf? And you got crumbs, turkeys got eradicated and extinct and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Somebody start dropping their nuts with dirty church sweat socks and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And we just got pilgrim hats. And that's it. Everybody thrown. So really question yourself. Who was it great for? George Washington and his other half or something like that? Or, or you and the turkeys and your grandmother? Then once you start to put the two or two together, now you can start to think. God damn, waste the money on that make America great again hat. Oh, say real shit. That shit was never great for you. That shit was getting ready to make you broke. <coughs> How his hat cost more than Jordan's? Nah, hell nah. Get that out of here. How his hat cost more than Jordan's? Oh, no. Nah, get him out of here. Oh, say so y'all don't get fucked out. There's a big old time going on right now. Big old shift. And we going through like this little transit of the cuss energy and stuff like that. So cuss matter. Just like all booties, all booties matter. Well, you got to be like some type of red pill individual that well, I'm going to click off. As soon as I hear something stupid 10 seconds into the video, I don't want to hear it no more. Uh, how this end up in my algorithm? Where's the non-interest button at? I can't find it no more. You know what I'm saying? You two went to an update. Can't find it. This cat's so this cat up here talking stupid and retarded. All booties matter. Oh, Sarah, that's just like in astrology. All astrology, all cuss matter. All cuss matter. Oh, so, so right now we go through a little lava cuss. I mean, a little steam cuss right now. Steam. And and this will separate this steam from the other two. They all got their own qualities. This one is going to be cardinal fire and mutable water. And it's going to be interacting with the cuss that we are experiencing to force ourselves into this new shift. Pluto. Now, Pluto is in one degree Aquarius, but it's not going to reach fully into Aquarius until it, it get into that 33 degree, 33 vertebrae, 3 degree uh, after zero all the way up to 2 degrees of a sign. Once you reach the 333, all that circumstance, a.k.a. is fully in that nashatra. It's fully in that asterism. It's fully in that decon, whatever the hell y'all want to call it in the Western way. And so I'm saying the chakra is the same thing in the Eastern. I know how to say that better than the, the decon or decon, whatever the hell y'all say. The, the Greeks, Latin language, it's hard for me. I don't give a fuck about none of these languages anyway, but at least I can say them the Shakra, but I can say that better because they, they stole that from me anyway. All that stole that from me. Even the ones on the, the Eastern Orthodox Indians, them Arabs. I said them niggas Arabs. Them niggas Arabs. I can't tell the difference. Oh, 
that. That ain't that ain't Pocahontas. That's uh some Arabian Tonis. No, I said that ain't the Pocahontas Native American version. That that's some Eastern Orthodox Arabian Tonis. Uh, Arabian Tonis. Yeah, I said I, I see that. I see the little different mixture of what Mason's did dropping their nuts. I see it. I see it. If y'all can't, I know how. I was like, I know, I know the difference between Pocahontas movie and some Eastern Orthodox really Arab. They try to tell us it's just India. We get confused. Nah, I know the difference. Nah, I'm good in America. I'm good with the Barracudas over here, the Cherokees and all that. Y'all say Catabas and stuff. Y'all say y'all stay with that other shit. Y'all keep that shit over there in Egypt. Y'all y'all feel that. Keep that shit over there with Sat Guru on that. I'm saying we we create all the talent. We create all the gift. The whole world get online and click on someone who live in America now. Americanas. We the special ones. We the ones who actually do the magic ritual twist. All the way to the celebrities. They don't know they playing the demonic energy. They had sit up here because they don't know the witchcraft they in. So they had sit up here and be like, nah, y'all, I'm just doing it for attention. I just did that for attention. I just I just did that for attention. Or I just did that because you know, I just wore the upside down cross for attention. You know what I'm saying? That's the point. Attention. That's that's the parable what they saying as a demon. We do that colder. We even do the negative stuff colder than any country. Everything. So so fuck the words and George Washington dropping their nuts and stuff. Just give respect to the soil and the wind and this hemisphere up under the western hemisphere. You real him that y'all can use y'all mind magic harder than anybody else. I don't even give a fuck if you in the Eastern Orthodox and shit like that. Nine times out of ten, you want to start dressing like an American. Oh, so you want to start dressing like somebody in the Western Hemisphere. You know, that Mickey, that Mickey Bonix to change words like bitch and make it a, a curse word. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't got that type of talent. Y'all like the first slaves over there in the Eastern Orthodox, the Shemitic language. Y'all scared to say some of those words. They ain't even curse words. And you will get hung upside down with a cross and stuff like Peter and Paul. So that kind of lets you know what's going on. Y'all don't got the power in the mind. Y'all just know how to be like, how can I block it up? How can I get a mile away? Y'all, salam alaikum, malaika. Oh, uh, say y'all don't know how to change that, change and say fuck that shit and make some like a, a, a curse word if you don't want to. Y'all ain't got the mind power like that. Y'all don't got that. Y'all got the y'all got the slavery ancestry system. Y'all said no matter what race, the Berbers and them, they just start dropping their nuts from the Mesopotamian floating down and told y'all these cats have wings. Oh, these cats they have wings. These cats just came from uptown, uptown, and start making it happen. That was it. These cats they had no wings. Chests just came from up top. Chests came from up north. Up north in Egypt, Mesopotamia. Oh, I said, I don't feel that. Chests had the P. Diddy energy first. That's all they had. They, they, they made y'all draw a statue. You think they got wings. You think they got wings. Look like this is what you thought they got. This is what you thought they had right here. They, they told you to draw this. They say, hey, smack monkey, if you want to make money in our world, draw a wing. Draw we make this is us though. We ain't got wings. We just came from uptown. Uptown, let's make it happen. Sham Cam Josephus knowledge start getting created in the Bible. Every day I say I don't understand what's going on. North Star and Masonry knowledge, everything. The North goddamn gas station, everything. True North, everything. Witchcraft. These cats. These cats playing roles in your mind. These cats just walking small dick energy humans. Always understand that first. Trust me, I want to be the face of my gas station. I want to be the I want to be the face of all my spiritual practices and stuff. Anytime somebody hidden, oh, we can't see them. But uh, that is a reason of that. No matter how good they getting away with it, it's still some like little little small dick energy somewhere somewhere. No, I said somewhere. Why you can't be the one who make YouTube lit for everybody to get on there? Why I gotta be? Oh, I said why y'all gotta stay behind in capitalism? Think. Think. I don't be thinking. Y'all don't be thinking. Oh, I'm just saying, get your mind clarity. Y'all say get your mind circumstanced up and, and foundated up and stuff like that, and you'll be okay. You'll be okay. Y'all you know saying. <sighs> 
other than that, yay. Look, we're going through some spiritual time. You know what I'm saying? We're getting out of Pisces season. Shout out to all my Pisces out there. Y'all know that's like 87 to 90% of the soul group. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I, can't, I can't hate Pisces even if I try. You know what I'm saying? Then we sliding in the Aries right now. Well, then we getting into my sign and stuff like that. And then we got to prepare for Taurus season. Wow. Shout out to all my Tauruses out there. But, you know, I'm just going to break down what we all get ready to experience. Now, for the sun right now being on the cusp of Pisces and sliding into Aries, this creating steam. So, steamy circumstances now we could calm down spiciness aka evaporating the water or we could kind of get too diluted in our emotions and it's just hot waters aka we in hot feisty emotions too much and we can't get out of that that um grudge we can't get out of that um trying to sting someone else or manipulate or whatever emotional thing that we got inside and we're showing something different outwardly so we got to make the steam room a even playing field or not an even playing field but an even volume or an even temperature that people will want to come to that steam room aka this is what we're all making right now you don't want to have one where it's too up, where it's all steam in there and the water is shortening it up because it's evaporation, a.k.a. your plan out energies are being too spicy about your emotions and the, the uh, temperature is too high. Or it could be too diluted in the emotions and things of that nature where you're creating some persuasion where it's kind of um, what they call that. Um, not not reverse um, intimidation, what they call that, but it is kind of reverse intimidation, but um, um, passive aggressive. Where you're being passive aggressive, where you're showing an emotion, maybe even a fake smile to that manager where deep down you know that you just want to clock in and clock out, but you really don't like that motherfucker. But that's transmuting it for positive purposes. But you could do this steam energy for negative purposes and things of that nature and be around people, places and things and circumstances that you truly don't like and things, but you're manipulating the scenario because it might got some small quality of something in it for you or something that you that still supports you in some way, shape, or form. Like a lot of y'all hate y'all aunties right now, but if you're up under your auntie roof, you keep your mother, you keep your motherfucking mouth closed because you ain't ready to jump and leap yet. That kind of situation. Don't take it too deep in your mind. Like simple stuff. The regular stuff we go through in our life every day and stuff like that, even beyond that. I'm just making examples. But that's what I'm talking about. You see what I'm saying? Um, so that's how the other steam where, you know, you got them steamy feelings, but you, you hold them in and express something else that you would show as the Aries or the fire, whatever the uh, steam cuss would be, which is all the steam cuss are fire and water. And what separate the characters from each individual is the modalities. Same way such as the signs without a cusp. What separate each sign is the modality. So no, so no two signs is the same, just like it's no two snowflakes the same. And when I say two signs, I mean the two modalities or the three modalities that participate. A Leo is nothing like an Aries. An Aries is nothing like a Sag. A Pisces is nothing like a Scorpio. A Scorpio is nothing like a Cancer. A Gemini is nothing like an Aquarius. A Aquarius is nothing like a Libra. What's going on is similar traits. The element. The way the element is being played out. That's what's different. The modality. Gemini is playing out air in a mutable way. Aquarius is playing out air in a fixed way. Libra is playing out air in a cardinal way. That's a total different characteristic. You know what I'm saying? Before you think like, oh, I'm an earth sign. I need to go. I need to, if I'm a Taurus, I need to find a Virgo or a Capricorn. No, that's not all. That might, you might end up finding your worst enemy. You know what I'm saying? If it, so, it, and I'm not saying that's the end all or be all either. I'm just saying don't be chalking it up like that. That's newspaper astrology. That's, that's not the right way to look at it. Thank you so much for the donation, Julius Payne. I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Real stuff. You know what I'm saying? You might even come across an earth sign that talk a whole bunch. You get confused at their air sign. That earth, sun, moon might be in an air house. So you got to think about your interactions, your personal interactions with a person. What is the template? So even if they're talking a lot, what is the things they talk a lot about? And that will break that will break more down of their moon and where the house placement at for you to, or their sun for you to understand. Oh, OK, that's oh, this person I could be confused. They talk a lot, but what they're talking about is things that's dealing with their bills or things that's dealing with security. Oh, okay, this person, the earth sign, they might just got their son, earth sign, and an air house or something like that. This is how you start to, you know what I'm saying, where you don't jump in relationships and circumstances prejudging, and you're able to be open and learn and just experience what God wants you to do. And therefore, you ain't being no demon. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Therefore, you always get placed in a situation where God gives you something to teach as a testimony or a teaching, which that's what all things in the world is. And you're able to materialize and manifest because there's always going to be a million people who went through a similar circumstance as you. So always keep that in mind. <coughs> so just how hard you go 
is how hard that's going to persevere and, and spread out as far as your little rituals and spells and how you keep your mind before letting yourself down on a constant basis. Now, also, when it comes into um, this, this energies itself. Now, we in an energy where that the cups, the steam, like I just broke down, is going to be creating opportunities for us to transform or take power and control over something when it comes to our associations and our status that match our associations. Now, if you've been planting bad seeds, you may not have a status or a representation of yourself or might have blemishes on your status that prevent you from being a part of an association or a group think tank that can allow you to uh, manifest or materialize and speed up the process of your creative gifts and talents and things of that nature because that's where Pluto is transitioning into. Now, based upon it still being on the cusp of Capricorn, that whole time it was in Capricorn was trying to make us go through all the necessary ups and downs, even when Pluto was taking things away from us via people, places and things when we wasn't ready for in order for us to build a more sufficient state for ourselves to get ready for. We could play the part or look or have the people around us around us that's like minded, a.k.a. Aquarius. So we could be using all the age of Aquarius or the technology or the way of information or the way of communicating to speed up the process of whatever we're trying to do because we all have to be the example of bringing something or ushering something new in this reality. So we have to rebel, change, and oppose against something that's outdated, Uranus, and bring in something new, new unique, and original. The other, the higher octave side of Uranus, bringing something new, unique, and original by default going to change, rebel, and oppose against something that's already there. So it's up to us as individuals to be able to point to the right sufficient things that need to be changed or better than opposed against. And hopefully we're not bored with the idle mind. So once we play victim, we're finding things to rebel and oppose against that don't necessarily need to be rebelled against. And now we just look like we're being an individual negatively. You know what I'm saying? For the sake of just be because we don't know what we're doing at the moment and we're trying to find it. And even through those circumstances, you will even find your path and be able, and be able to have to turn around and even apologize if you stepped on a lot of people's toes while you was going through that circumstance. That was how the situations had to play out through you so you can experience the things enough that it may not certain experiences may not even have words in the dictionary for. But you'll be able to understand it for yourself and be like, OK, I needed these experiences to help me understand this is a part of a seed that I'm creating that's springing off as outcomes. And also other people who are in that same spiritual space for us to even be in the same third dimensional circumstance making these events. Let me separate from that whole circumstance in the first place. So I don't have to be victimized or have to victim uh make someone else a victim. Go up somebody go upside somebody's motherfucking head. So those would be the circumstances that you gotta be aware of also. Now, when it comes into um Pluto. So if you've been playing good seeds, you have already been practicing cutting off, cutting off people, places and things who don't necessarily is who it isn't going in your favor or uh, like minded or allowing you to realize that you have been distracted based upon something that you have turned into a desire that don't put you in a good position in your life. Calculating the time in a much more sufficient manner, even if you got to lessen it up from people that ain't warranted all that negative energy or burning bridges or uh, bridge burning situations. But, you know, just recalibrate your time because it's no hard feelings, but also you still need more time to do what you need to do or get around people who's more sufficient in your area to speed up the process of what you want to go in your favor. And you're supposed to be acting these energies out behind closed doors, which you're presenting to others in the, few, um, in the outside of you. Right. Or however you want to be portrayed. You can't falsify yourself you can't participate per, uh, portray one image but behind closed doors you're not even practicing what you preach so that's supposed to be a self thing right there and then when you put those three things together you're going to be a sufficient actual machine or vessel right now or an example for other individuals how to get around others or how to be that potential that it looked like whatever that you're doing it needs assistance and it's something that's a quality for people to feel like they want to give it so for the most part that's the energy that we need to be in and transform ourselves and we can't be keeping a whole bunch of things that kept us that sound previously into this new shift or we're going to be experiencing all the outcomes that we see that's not going in our favor all the outcomes that prove us right that we is bullshitting we is procrastinating we is being b with some butthead in some way shape or form so keep that in mind too now um when it comes to two, just the, the try the uh not the try the sextile itself is create opportunities so if you plant bad seeds the way your new self is you might transform an outcome and start to realize that you might not be as positive. You might be a, a, a negative person 
and you might not know you as a negative person at first. And to, and then it might take a few react, uh, transformative circumstances based upon who you associate yourself right now to let you know that either these situations is playing out based upon you being guilty by association or you playing your hand in a role that you don't necessarily need to be involved with or or you just need to re uh ghost yourself and separate yourself or you know what i'm saying ghost from other people or things of that nature some type of aquarius energy in order for you to transform and put yourself in a better perspective because these are things that want us to um get us prepared for the house that we actually have aquarius in so we're going to be pulling a whole bunch of things from the pisces house to train us to be more sufficient. So we should be around associates or like-minded individuals, Aquarius, that match our dreams, imaginations, fantasies, Pisces. And the moment that we don't be seeing these things, the moment we put ourselves in a situation of trying to, uh, uh, having to realize we must be on a lower octave, we must be planting, uh, planting bad seeds. So you wanna make sure that you ain't planting bad seeds either uh, in this thing. But um, other than that, Especially when we get into the energies of it going into Aries and it's not opposing Lilith no more, but it's going to get ready to start in conjuncting Lilith. Matter of fact, it's already in conjuncting Lilith. So we may misunderstand uh, certain actions that we take as an individual where we may be appearing to look um, embarrassing through the, other, like, through the lens of other people's eyes. And here's the thing. If you don't feel embarrassed, you ain't supposed to be caring about if another person trying to project on you why you should be embarrassed. That's their Lilith. That's something that they're dealing with. And if you ain't see it that way in the first place for you to do something, don't allow somebody to see what you did and cast stones at it like it's something that you, that like their judgment is God or something like that. You know, they just some reprobate that nine times out of ten, you probably doing something that they wish they could do and they can't. So it'd be it'd be stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? That and, and not to even uh use this as an example, but y'all know I'm ratchet. So I'm not saying this is all good. Everything has a yin and yang to it. But even when y'all get to feminists sometimes, feminists that be talking about men and females that's twerking and stuff like that. And then they put everybody in a box. And some people just like to dance or whatever like that. A lot of times it's not even the adding on of the negative side to it that these feminists be trying to say. A lot of times it'd be because they can't twerk. And they know, don't, they know nobody can't respect them for their dancing. And they used to want to be Beyonce and Mariah Carey when they grew up and stuff like that. And all these goddamn Rihanna's and shit like that. So for the most part, a lot of times it'd be from deep-rooted hatred when they get online and, and start teaching all this goddamn feminism and shit. You know what I'm saying? It'd be, it'd be from they can't get a man. It'd be from that kind of energy and shit like that. It don't be from no energy that they, uh, and then they they start to use examples of men that they had that probably already treated them like shit. You know what I'm saying? So the the, the person be having to check themselves. Every, all y'all have to understand, y'all humans first, before y'all jump into some gender war and start using y'all organs as, a, as an excuse for something else where everybody needs to take self-accountability in some way, shape, or form. So you can't stop no other woman from getting a man just because you have failures with getting a man. And now you want to create red, red feminist concepts online and stuff like that to try to make everybody, all females think they got your experience and vice versa. Red pill. You know what I'm saying? You'd be sitting there talking and making it seem like all men have your experiences because you just started getting women when you got a good job. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't have those experiences. You know what I'm saying? Some men was broke getting women. Uh, I'm saying so it's, it's not the, you can't say it's the end all and be all and try to put everybody in the box and say try to all women act like this such and such because that's your experiences. You know what I'm saying really? you had to work and get money for for just another human with a brain to befriend you, whether it's a female or a guy. You know what I'm saying? So whether you're a red pill and you put a whole bunch of females in that box and things of that nature, you didn't have a lot of friends guy wise and a lot of girlfriends female wise you, period as just you lacking social skills before you jumped into anything that you call red pill now i'm saying you have we have to look at everything from an equilibrium perspective you was intimidated so you didn't befriend a lot of men young boys growing up and your discourage of that didn't allow you to go for a woman uh for young girls 
to make your girlfriend. And then you always had this weird thought form of, well, there's probably another guy that I'm intimidated by that will take her and I don't want her to step on nobody's toes. Then you got, you became an adult and realized life wasn't like that, started making money, then started getting women who only care about money, justified that kind of concept as that's the whole world. And no, that's only 5% or probably not even that. But now we got people online trying to get lit. So we got just a whole bunch of incels making these people think that that's the whole world. And incels is only 5% of the world. So a lot of times it just reprobates online. Trying to get a dollar. You know what I'm saying? A whole bunch of rubber base online trying to get a dollar. You know what I'm saying? Or you will have something else to teach. For an example, if I was to teach something about Red Pill, it'd be one or two videos. Next. And then it won't even be about what Red Pill making it about. It'd be about where, where the wives made, why why the psychology of the, the man and the, and the woman gender is uh, in a certain way to make them take certain actions for this to be an outcome called Red Pill. And shit, that's it. I, I probably wouldn't even make a, a, a part two. That'd be it. Uh, I'm not, a, I don't stick. God make me be going on all knowledge. So even if I make a title with the stars in it, it's just the energies I'm in that, that can make me put some alchemy together of some spiritual knowledge that ain't got nothing to do with that shit. So it's just, that's astrology to me. So if I choose to use it in a demonic way, I throw it in there every now and then like all the regular astrologers and astronomers, but to me, I use it like the agents because they copy me anyway. Oh, this the vibe today. So this the thoughts and feelings I'm receiving. And this the messages God want me to give today. And if I want to calculate it, that's me using my left brain. So my right brain, spirituality, esoteric, then I use my left brain and I can use it as a teaching. And that makes it even better because other people could have a word and a meaning behind it and point to something in existence that we can say it without being confused with an um, indoctrination and interpretations and now that makes it even better bringing the right brain and the left brain together where the knowledge ain't just for me and i'm giving it out for you and that's the best way of the each one teach one know what i'm saying so that's it in my mind so that's like why this slide and all uh god damn it lanes anyway because all lanes is my lane i'm arjun uriel i don't know how to not know about math so you think i'm not about to talk about math and jamacha numerology and religion and all of them business entertainment education religion and politics i don't know how to just stick to one thing and then come from a geographical location they this was trying to indoctrinate me like i'm supposed to just stick to music or sports and i hate sports then it things you get online oh just stick to that you just teach that just stick to astrology no man nah you know what I'm saying? I, that ain't how God made me. That ain't how all possibilities made me. So in my limited possibilities, I'm going to try to stretch that as far as possible of uh, it appearing to look like it's all possible. And all things could be done in different ways, not these limited ways that y'all think can only be done. And that peer pressure play out in your neighborhoods and that peer pressure play out in that industry. You know what I'm saying? No. It could be done in a new possible way. And you could transmute that industry or create a building next door and can't nobody stop you. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Or just go be Kanye West and go bitch outside of that building when you was inside of that building so you got enough money to make a building next door. But you just, for some reason, let's shout out to Kanye. Shout out to Kanye. Mm -hmm. At some point, all the money I made off Nike and stuff, I don't care what they doing with them old ideas. I don't even like that old idea no more. There's too many other ideas in my head. So I, I would think Kanye big ass head is think like that too. <sighs> but shit, I'm like, man, I don't even care about those models no more. These next 10, 15 miles. Matter of fact, I'm starting over. Part one again. Hey, everybody, those shoes ugly. Body, bodies in this building and, and these albums, stuff like that. Boom, you good to go. <sighs> Trust me, I would not go into that Nike building. I will go straight next door to that Donda building in Babylon. No, I'm saying? Trust me. Then you could double up. Because even if you want the high price ones, you can make some ones that ain't high price, but it's double them. It's like quantity and quality energy. Red and uh, blue wave shift. Where the amount of leverage you can buy for the cheap stuff, a lot of people that afford it would match the same as the handful of people who can afford the big price. Boom, you got a well-oiled running shop in somewhere in LA or something like that. So now you the example for us of we don't have to get crumbs, make 
pop, make little pop pop up stores, make little pop up shops and shit like that. Airbnb type shit that we got to start with, like concepts. We could be owner type shit now, just like the Masons and Jews. You know what I'm saying? We could have our own Galileo, our own fashion shows. We are, we all come from the same background that's getting rocked to sleep. So I don't think it'd be a problem for any artist to want to just support, even if the check ain't as big as the Matt Gala would give Beyonce. Beyonce will look at what we doing and what you doing, Kanye, like, yeah, I'm going to perform and all my fans going to come there too, just because I like what you doing and you competing with Galilea, not outside the building bitching about why Galilea is getting paid off one of your designs because you was in the building once upon a time working with them. Don't forget that. God don't like ugly, period. I don't care what seat you on, but I, I still love everybody. I, I still fuck with you, Kanye. I still. I just dropped my nuts for God, though. That don't have nothing to do with physically. You respect your family, everybody. I don't want to harm nobody physically. That's how every content creator know I'm coming. I come like that. I come peaceful. Everything is in reverse, though. In the spiritual world, fire baptism must be had. So the negative in the spiritual world look positive down here. You know what I'm saying? It's save, it's save your homie from being in jail. You look like something. All your gifts, talents, and you can still be yourself. You don't have to be the nerd or nothing. You can be yourself and still be something and don't have to be around that peer pressure that the government created for y'all anyway. Oh, I'm supposed to act like this template gridding star system that the city is made up under. And if I don't act like this, everybody around that's acting like this might look at me weird. No, no we about to get rid of all that. We about to make everybody in all these gridded systems just be themselves and look stupid when you trying to be the norm. And then that's becoming norm, your actual normal self. Let's start making that normal. Let's make the world normal again. Fuck that Trump hat. Bars. Mm, fuck that Trump hat. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Give me my bucks back. But yeah, y'all got to peep game. You know what I'm saying? But those be the main issues. And since you're so indoctrinated and comfortable rooted in your lies, you don't understand that it's really that simple. Those were a lot. I ain't going to say all, but 88% of our mental illnesses and traumas come from the, the air we breathe that's encapsulated with all of our thoughts that we have allowed them. We y'all have agreed to the terms of condition to let their intellectual properties be more in authority. So you don't even feel comfortable. We all can make snicker bars. You go to the store if you got the, if you really hungry and you got the idea to steal a candy bar, you got a bunch of other thoughts on your mind first. Oh, the possibilities could happen to you going to jail, whatever the case may be. All of those are their template. Where really there is no law that should ever be. It should be in school that we just already know how to make it. So really, the object itself, cobalt mine, is how they made y'all indoctrinated. So the object itself matters more than how it put, how it's put together. So a uh, author. Who ain't even put something together could rock y'all to sleep with the Jewish Mason witchcraft that they got y'all up under because they we they can't be the face of something and capitalize off something that they ain't even put together just because they uh, got that kind of energy of caring about the object more or the material or the gem or the gold more than who put it together, who melted it and shaped it in that way, who carved that brick and built it in a certain way. So now you can go get one of these objects and it ain't even put together that good and you would get respect for it because you in the world based off general consensus of which y'all allow other people's uh, intellectual property reign on y'all minds as a firmament. Pyramid scheme. Their original thought, all y'all adding on y'all own concept to it. And thinking y'all intelligent. That's y'all being up under that magic square, walking dead flesh, spirits trapped in this flesh and that pyramid mentally in the spiritual world. Get dollar dollar bill, y'all. Cream, get the money. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. That's why the, the Jews made that a hit. If you notice, if you want, if you already in the industry and you want to make a hit, pull a scripture out the Bible and, and make an allegory to it. Having to do with how they built the world. Building structure. That means either shout out your city and state a lot. If you're part of a gang, shout out your gang a lot. Y'all water down masons. Part of a religion. Gospel or something like that. Shout that out a lot. Water down masonry. Or uh, uh, do a lot of things where you're a shaker or a mover. You did a lot of crimes or something like that, right? Or talk about money and building a lot. 
right? Or love, like, but in a romance way. Not love how you see it. Love like how Walt Disney taught you. Make sure it got something about you sending flowers in it or something about you're, you're painting a picture about you making a date or a heartbreak. Some romance movie taught us version of it. Not just you, how you say, oh, this is how love's supposed to be. And I'm a man, man, nature, woman, nature. Let's watch the Safari Channel. Oh, no, some some old goddamn Japanese or whitey judge going to be like, what is this? You ain't, yo, you ain't going to never be in a Sundance Movie Awards with that directed movie. Now, now, as long as you do it in their template, you got a hit. And if you put love in there on the right way, then it's a hit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm giving y'all game. I, I, God taught me how to stay away from that world and create my own world. So I, I create my own punchlines, love concepts, everything, which is why the Jews don't support. And people in the world copy me, but from behind closed doors and just treat me like God's child. But in a physical world, don't support like how they can support others and put people in positions of how everybody gets successful. So I have to do everything on myself, which makes me successful in my own right. But at the same time, this is what that this what lacks in their industry. But if you in the industry, that's how you can make a hit. You know what I'm saying? It has to be something pertaining to the things they went through to make them come up with the idea to make the community and government. And if you know how to do and if you know how to do the, the micro stage of it, because they look at y'all like their children, if they're running the world. So anytime you do something like that, remind them of something that they came up with that made them write it in the Bible, because it was something that they had to go through positive and negative for them to come up with that idea to make a community, whether it's the Jewish community on the other side of government or the Greek that they're adding their Yiddish to the Latin and the Coptic and the, the Masons. And then them thinking that their descendants is Berbers and shit, but it goes beyond that. That's that's another video. But. For the most part, it's looked at it uh, like that. And anytime you survive, they look at it like you survived a watered down version of a world they created for you based upon they wouldn't have had that idea if they didn't do that on a small scale first. You know what I'm saying? So the Jews was the first slaves right towards the Greeks, but they wasn't enslaved the way it's being practiced on y'all because at an early stage, it wasn't that deep. So they figured out how to use the, cuni the cuneiform and make their own language first and then make the Hebrew. Out of the cuneiform and the hieroglyphics. So the first language was Coptic and stuff like that. When the government made the first government out of cuneiform and hieroglyphics. The Berbers and the Masons and the uh, Greeks. So the first slavery was just not having that on your own. That was what they was thinking they was in bondage of. And they had to ask for water and learn the language. Go up under their schools. Them learning a template of themselves in the language was the first liberation. Now, now they working together to make sure no one else does that again. And just seeing how that mind state can go in a more negative place beyond the people who came became Jewish priests. How a person could have that same idea that the Jews had, but not be healthy enough to come at the round table with the Greeks. They could see, and it was a lot of people who came, quote unquote, messiahs that they made that term over, that they was able to be like, before this person even make a community. You know what I'm saying? Let's, just, let's, let's nip this in the butt now. Creation of religion, as above, so below, astrology, astronomy, and keeping people to do what they want y'all to do, but just up under their intellectual property of it, up under their concept that we all got access to, God and the mechanism. But they stamp a name and a feeling of how they want you to act based upon playing God, being a fallen angels down here. They get deep. I wasn't even supposed to go that deep on this astrology video. This this is for the regular channel, but I, but I don't know. The spirit of Pisces and, and Aries being a warrior for your dreams, playing that dream world in reality now, Pisces, Aries, that's what we all transforming into as Aquarius and Capricorn energy being associated with our status that can make us go to good business and top and have a good, healthy, goddammit, uh, organization of, or not just have no blemish or being guilty by association. And now we can't get in no business, Aquarius and, and goddamn Capricorn. So it's real a lot of Sagittarian, Sagittarian energy. Saturnalia energy and things of that nature and then for the most part us pushing into that we're going to be expressing these energies anyway so what better way is to like make a parable the way how they rock y'all to sleep with Walt Disney anyway for you can know how to do this for yourself now and you understand the energies so you can see where they ain't lying at and then use the energies for yourself where they is lying at to have you practicing what they want you to practice even when you think you're being rebellious and but you're just getting crumbs and that's spirituality. We need a whole goddamn new language for this because 
shit, all they low egoistic words and shit like that take paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs, and we still can't get a clarity. I still can't get y'all where I need y'all in that certain water where you can make your own cup. Or the world would have been changed. Just like that uh, angel uh, uh, little scene I post where he was talking to Harvey and shit, and he told Angel, everything you're doing is basically for you. Because if, if this is the world you're trying to save. But if everybody was already angels, it would be no point in saving the world. You know what I'm saying? That just made Angel lose all hope after that. He's like, damn, that's right. Damn, so I'm really just doing this for demons. I'm really about to save everybody to make another version of what I'm trying to save them from. Damn. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's like a tough pill to swallow. <coughs> You know what I'm saying? It puts you in those situations like, damn, humanity finished, or this eon finished, or this family member can't be helped, this friend can't be helped, this coworker can't be helped, this associate can't be helped. This is a real thing in the world. That's a real mechanism. And I don't know what group of spirits can come down here and change that fast enough so we can get back on track. But that mechanism didn't, didn't got too large in percentage scale where you're, you're, you could bet your bottom dollar you would you experience that first before regular situations. So that became more of the norm. You know what I'm saying? So that that mechanism too large. So that man, that's that's gonna take a while for that to shift into some new gas liquid solid. Like the new gas liquid solid we going through is within that big old one that became solid that's still an old shift in someone because we still and y'all still in human bodies and stuff like that. So y'all even haven't made it to atmosphere bodies yet. For y'all little root race, I had to come back in and wake y'all asses up because I'm tired of being inside of y'all mind. And that goes for all y'all Masons and Jews. Y'all know that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know that. And I, and I appreciate y'all for, mon for monetizing my page. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not going to be boastful. I'm not going to keep doing that to humans and stuff like that. I understand. Sir. But I... That what I don't understand is just how fucking slow the process is. Jesus. Like, and damn, y'all, y'all, a lot of, a lot of y'all gotta die like 10, 20 times. Like, you know what I'm saying? 40 to 100 times. And when you get to my mind, you'll realize how all oh, that is simple. This is simple. This right here is a small increment of time that you're trying to hold on to, especially all the trauma you're developing based upon the mistakes you already made. Trust me, just get into a mind state right now where you change the way you look at whatever mistake you already made mentally and physically. And then go for the things that you haven't experienced yet. Those will be your excitements. So the energies that you bring in from previous lifetimes, they're condensing more. The more you think and worry about them and you already probably acted out some of these things or received some of these things from others. Um, as far as negativity slapped upside your head or how the case may be. And then or judge system. Then for the most part, um transmute how you look at those regardless of how harsh it may be physically and then therefore you're not carrying that dead weight into your next form to keep accumulating those situations then positively um you actually getting out of those distractions and going more for your likes when you're awake right now because you still can breathe your kneecaps still work right i don't even care if you're in a wheelchair you still can smile uh, whatever the case may be that you searching for creating new sparks here. Those new sparks accumulate as being situations that can become more familiar. In the next lifetime, you're born in a family that uh, it's nothing for them to go on Walt Disney vacations. And so you just came from a, a family that was poor that couldn't and get born in one where that's nothing. So you could get more familiar with new things based upon what you're practicing now. Whatever you're doing now is what you've always been doing. You know what I'm saying? So you're not going nowhere. Don't be afraid of death. You know what I'm saying? So you start living this life with more life. And therefore, your next circumstance don't manifest the same situation that you probably currently in to make you feel like you're not living life in this one. You know what I'm saying? So that that's how that worked. And I'm here to teach y'all that too. You know what I'm saying? You actually make your body, your form, and the experiences that the portal stargates, experiences that you're going to go through. That's the alchemy of thoughts and feelings. That's teamwork makes a dream work. So to be your parents and everybody interacting, how I say how, you're, how you get into an actual blood family and Leo spiritual family, how I always break down. And it will be the right mechanism that you create the experiences and outcomes that, that match your mind for you to see the world a certain way that remind you as a spirit you're, you're creating similar abilities that you did previously in a more expanded way now. So you're, you, your spirit is bigger now. That means you pass some tests and you get to experience some new stuff in more reality that you probably 
just had to experience in your mind and small portions of reality because of the, all the negative distraction that you have experienced, but you transmuted your mind with God consonance dissonance to convince yourself that it ain't that bad and it, it could be worse. So that was the little spark. And sometimes you could be so low in one life that it might take you to actually experience that spark to manifest reality in the next lifetime. And you actually experiencing new things. Sometimes you gotta psych yourself up all the way to that deathbed based upon how much you made your bed that you're laying in that's negative and you having to reap what you sow in whatever current or previous life. You know what I'm saying? So this is, we need different words for uh, what I'm breaking down. You know what I'm saying? We need, dip, that. that's why I'm presenting the school. Right now the school is online. See a lot of y'all in Atlanta. And hopefully in Atlanta too, not hopefully, it is. It's efficient men and women y'all just support. You know what I'm saying? Or or if I need, need assistance and stuff. But as far as men, you know what I'm saying? That's in that's mover or shakers in the city and stuff like that. Actually start to, you know, add on, add life on. Or like so it could be like a, a courage thing every day where it's like a weekly thing where we pick a spot or I get a spot and we present it online as if yeah, this is a new way we can even make schools in today's time where we don't got the Dr. Umar and stuff like that. We don't got the, we can make up some type of thing where it's fun, but it's still a new way to teach and we can see the results of the outcome where the government can't hate. We actually see people mental illness and health getting better. We actually see people being more encouraged to participate with y'all actual colleges and stuff like that and things. So it won't be no type of new psyop they can do on us and from people from our same background don't have to be in no narky energy where they want to tear us down they actually separate us and be like well that's actually cool let's not cultify these people let's not throw our shit on them though this is cool you know what i'm saying right here and as long as we all do it it ain't what we do is how we do it so we got to understand that too we always build a community we get lost in these words and words got negative annotations to it but when we understand what we're doing we can get on a healthier state based on how we do it and that's all what i'm about you know what i'm saying that's all what i'm about And then for the most part, that makes even the government feel like, well, this is something that's new that could be supported. And then we could be a lot of these statues that y'all see in New York City walking through Washington Square Park or Times Square and shit about people who did exactly what I'm talking about. These is the real missions. Who can state a claim like a Mario into the level you just beat it, your flag in the ground, like how they did with their pyramids. That's X the mark. We've been here type concept. What quality mentally can you bring in the world? That's all the Jews and Masons care about. They don't care about your religion and you trying to go get a, a boat and get their same weapons. They don't care about that. They care about what is you stamping that look like that time of the year that you came up with that idea and, and what you did actually work. Is it something that could be useful for the next hundred years? They wouldn't mind making no statue and things out of it. You see what I'm saying? That's what it's about. But you have to put the work in yourself. Is you actually making a community and putting the work in yourself first? Because that's what they did too. They're not going to give it to you. And if we still killing each other and stuff like that, we're just showing them that we can't. You know what I'm saying? So why should they respect us if we wanted to make up our own last names? And, and name for the new races we creating anytime we have sex? Because we're not practicing uh, incest. So I don't know what pan African is talking about. So obviously, anytime you make a child, that's some new race. Anytime you make a child. So it's the men fault and the women fault. We ain't in a position of thinking how they thinking. They just controlling over it. We supposed to be the one to be like, oh, this is our practice. This is our last name. That came from our ancestry in the sky. Our group of dead spirits who probably was even in a form like this first. That's given us these ideas and the atmospheres because they became angels and they're coming back down through our children. And I was one of these things, too. And a book is about us. That is the concept y'all supposed to be in. That's what they're doing. Y'all y'all just keep taking their crumbs and helping them get bread loaves. Y'all keep working at Swables and wonder and wonder bread. You know what I'm saying that you just go home with a slice of it and be like, yeah, I'm cool. But no, no, you not. Deep down, you not. 
or you wouldn't have to pray every day or you wouldn't have to do your own thing that help you meditate every day whatever the case may be or affirmation however the case may be let's not know that let's not forget it's a demon floating around the world and that's putting us in that state so we could be in our meditated prayer states all we want but let's not forget those spaces is for God to give us the, the mentality, the strength, the courage to play through us as a vessel to actually change the things that's putting us in that position in the first place. Or would be no such thing as you needing God. So if you know that's what you need, use it. Use it. You don't use it, you lose it. All the way down to spirituality. You don't use it, you lose it. You lose your mind. That's a terrible thing to waste. Somebody other spirit will be in it and you'll be in a sucking place. Your spirit somewhere else in another lower chakra or floating around lost in la-la land. Someone else controlling you like a robot, a.k.a. you just look like someone who's out here in your ego and your narcissism. And, oh, everything is about me energy and the world revolves around me concept. And, God damn it. And this star constellation is stuff of mine. And this constellation is stuff about me. And this is stuff that I shit it out. And this one is mimicking me. Oh, like whatever in your mind, you can erase that. <laughs> Erase that shit. <laughs> Real shit. And be like, oh, that constellation minds that could be an assistance to this constellation. And hopefully you're around a group of other constellations, spirits with minds inside of that mind and their group of their minds that match your energy. So if y'all reach a frustration, it's a much more healthier manner. You, you'd rather be frustrated and come to agreements faster with them group of people than that group of people. Now you're in a better space. Whatever y'all get ready to do from an overall equilibrium, unbiased mechanism perspective is all positive. You know what I'm saying? So that's what y'all need to understand from that perspective. But other than that, yeah, y'all stay, uh, y'all stay spiritually protected in this thingy thing. I just wanted to, uh, break down the energies real quick. We are going to feel like we want to try something new or just do something. Don't do nothing too sporadic. You know what I'm saying? If, if you don't have a purpose at the moment, but for the most part, we are going to be in this position of wanting to do that. So once you know that right now, let's say you involved into a whole lot of things, even if you're a celebrity, you might be, you know, per, uh, provoked positive or negative to make a decision about what I'm talking about right now, no. Chill out, calm down, don't have no reprobate around you right now, especially if they ain't spiritual, giving you all this advice saying, hey, it could be a good look. Hey, you can get this check or whatever. Hey, all money ain't good money, all the way down to spiritually. All energy ain't good energy. Protect your motherfucking spirit. And I love all y'all from the motherfucking bottom of my heart. Wait till next week till you make your goddamn decisions about that contract or that deal. The delusion is leaving from Pisces going into Aries, and you may have to soak in yourself Aries in that delusion you got put in based upon who was giving you that contract or trying to provoke you to do something that may have a good look but it ain't in your best interest for your future because you're being used as a puppet be careful out there and i love all y'all from the bottom of my heart <laughs>